So right now we're going to look at um, one of the species of tegus that we breed here at Underground Reptiles Outdoor Breeding Facility. And this is an Argentine black and white tegu. Obviously the name speaks of its, its locale. It's from Argentina. It's a mountainous animal. Um, now Argentina is a fairly good sized country. And just saying that it's from Argentina, if you went to Argentina and seen all the different variations, you'd see everything from lighter to darker to bigger head to smaller head. That's Jonah. He doesn't get paid for his brain power. So these animals here breed in uh, early spring, late February, and then by uh, mid-March, they're, they're fully gravid, and usually by the early part of April, uh, they're laying eggs. Um, the latest I've seen them lay eggs is early May. Uh, they happen to be our best prolific breeders. I was looking back at our records over the last few years, and these animals, the, these four cages here, which are our our Argentine tegus, they um, they produce more eggs for us than any animals that we've ever had. More consistently, they don't every skip year. years like some year like some animals. Every single year, we're getting animals. Uh, their diet consists mainly of rodents. We try to keep them on rodents. If we're trying to fatten them up, sometimes we'll use some chicken parts or or turkey meat or something like that. But um, the vast majority, 90 plus percent of what they eat is meat. I, I will throw some fruits in there once in a while, some bananas, some uh, uh, watermelon, stuff like that. They chew on it, but it's, I don't know how much of a part of their diet it actually is. Um, they come from an area where it's almost exactly like Florida. It'll be uh, in the 90s during the day, at night it'll go down to the 70s, and they have a winter. They can winter really cool temperatures. You'd be surprised, especially you guys that live in, in a cooler climate. They can winter well into the 30s, and as long as the wind chill factor isn't going much below that, you can winter them outside. I, I think it was, um, what's his name? Dwarf, um, what's the guy's name? That guy. Fred Wood. Bert Langerworth. He bred these things, kept them outside their whole lives, and he was probably the foremost authority breeder of these things. Now these happen to be the, the uh, the least common ones that are on the market now. Now if you look, that female over there who laid eggs, she just got a drink of water and now she's going to eat, you see? She just needs a drink of water before she ate. Or maybe she wants you to be away from her. I don't think she's gonna eat. Yeah. Well, if you're, huh? She ate? A big salmon? If you're interested in getting a tegu and you're wondering what are the characteristics you want, if you're looking for a tegu that gets large, because these things get in excess of four foot and their jowls are about the size of a football, if that's something that you're interested in getting, then that's definitely the type of tegu you want. If you like the colors black and white uh, with a marbleized head, that's what you want in a, an Argentine tegu. If you're looking for something that has more of a white nose, um, then you, want, you would want a Chacoan whitehead otherwise known as a giant tegu.